Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these internal structures in a wing hair and they're real simple to do. And um, I haven't seen anybody else do them this way. I've seen um, other ways of doing it and I've uh, made these internal structures different ways and um, you can make some very complex structures and it's very simple to do and um, yeah so um, I'll show you guys how to do this, and um, on this Genesis glider here, I went ahead and did these structures um, the same way I'm going to show you guys how to do this, and um, these are they right here, so let's go ahead and get started with it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, close this out and start it again. I don't need to save it and open up a new project here, new design. All right, first I'm gonna do is make a, um, a makeshift wing here. So it was create a sketch on this plane here and just do a um, arbitrary profile of one. I'll use the fit point spline here. Okay, and um, I can make it look a little better if I want to. There we go. Move this out a little more there. And use a line to close this up. There. And finish the sketch here. Then what I'm going to do is just extrude this. And that looks good. And new body and click OK. Now we have our makeshift wing here. Now what I'm going to do here is to shell this um, body out here. Come up here to shell. And I'm going to shell this to one millimeter inside. And click OK. Then we can take a look at this inside, come up here to inspect, go to section analysis, and select this. And as you can see, we, it's hollow inside now. Go ahead and cancel this. Now, to make the instructions inside, what I'm going to do now is come up here to create sketch. And turn this body off for a second. I want to create on this plane here and turn this body back on. And I'm just going to take a line, um, the line tool, and just draw a line from here to here and click OK. Now, normally what um, people do will draw or sketch a bunch of lines and X's and um, so something like, let me show you real quick. Um, they'll do things like this. And another line. And I used to do this also. Cancel this, do this again, delete this. Or you come up um, with a lot of these X's in here and then you have um, these types of patterns in here. And what you do as each one of these lines, you offset the lines by one millimeter um, by doing that. So um, I click here and um, offset and 
it's for one millimeter, then you click OK. And then you'd close each um, side of this, and then you would extrude this. But um, let's go back here. We don't need all that. But now we have our one line here, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish sketch. Now, uh, what I've um, came up with, extrude this line. So we hit um, E for extrude. And you come up here to Thin Line Extrude. And we click on this line here. Now, this is set the wall thickness of one millimeter. So this is automatically set to one millimeter. I don't need to draw those other lines to um, get this at one millimeter. It's already done for me. And then, and I can make it thicker if I want to by changing it over here. I just pull this up, set this to new body, and click OK. Next, what I'll do is come up here to Modify, Split Body. This is the body I would like to split. This is my splitting tool. And click OK. And now I'll come over here to Bodies. And I turn this off. We have this here. And next, what I want to do is come up here to Combine. And this is the target body. And the tool body will be, let me turn this back on in here. Here we go. This here is our tool body. We click that. And we click OK. Turn this off. And we have that. Come up here to Inspect, and we want to do Section Analysis. Click that, and this section here, and move this in. And as you can see, now we have our internal structure here. Just that simple. Go ahead and cancel this. And that's our structure here. I can turn that, like I said, I can turn that off, and the whole thing goes off. And so that's one complete body here with the, um, the former inside of here. Now, with this way of doing this, you can make some really complex shapes inside of here. So let's say, uh, make another one. Let me turn the origin back on. Turn his body off um, for a sec. I want to create a sketch on this plane. Create sketch and turn the body back on. Now I'm going to use a fit point spline for this next one. Now, say I want something like this. And finish sketch. Come over here to extrude. Change the thin extrude. Click this. Look at this from the back. Pull this up. Set this over here to new body. And click OK. Come up here to split body. This is the body to split. And the splitting tool will be this wing here. And we click OK. Turn this off. And turn this off. Next, we come over here to combine. This is the target body. The tool body is this. And we click OK. Now we just have our one body here. And to see it inside, we come up here to inspect again, do a section analysis, 
click this, and as you can see, you see that inside. And that goes all the way down there. Or let's take another look at this. This is for the cut plane. And you can see this from the top, the two internal structures that we have. Okay, and it's just that simple to make those complex um, structures inside here. What I'm gonna do here is just appearance. And class here, change this, and close. And turn off the origin here. And as you can see, you can see these complex structure wave-like in here that's very simple to do. And if you need this to be open over here, what you do is click this, come up here to create sketch, P for project, and you want to project this, click OK, finish sketch. Next you want to extrude, And you want this going um, like um, one millimeter. Change this to one. And click OK. And as you can see, that's now cut. And you can see in there. Just that simple to do. Now, so if you want a, a wing tube in here. Click this, create sketch on that plane there. Use this uh, center diameter. Just make this 10 millimeters. Finish sketch. Extrude. Now you can make this a new body. What I'm gonna do here, and just pull this over. Now I can set that to cut, but I wanted a new body. Change that to new body. Move this back. Or that's fine, and just click OK. Now you have that through there. And if you want that hollow, click here, create sketch. P for project. I want to project this. Click OK. Come up here to offset. Click this. Bring this in to half, let's see, say a negative one and click OK, finish sketch. Then extrude this. Oops. Error there, OK. Profile, it's just this. And see what's going on here. So cancel this. Extrude again. That. And pull that all the way through. 
I don't know what happened. Um, that last time Fusion was acting a little wonky on me, no big deal. And click OK. Now you have that wing tube if you want to have a wing tube in there or something like that. Or let's go for another one. Turn the origin back on. The body's off for a second. Click here. Create sketch. Turn the body back on. And throw a line from here to here. Click OK. Finish sketch. Letter E for extrude. Change this to thin extrude. Click this line here. But this is not going to let me do this because this is now open. So make sure when you do this, this is closed. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'll pull this up. new body and click OK. Like I said, this will not let me um, split this body because this is this side is open here. So as I say, I come up here to modify, split body, and I select this as the body, and my splitting tool is to this, and click OK. Now, as you can see, it didn't split this in here. So if I turn this off, It takes away this back half, too. And I um, need that back half. As you can see, like I said, if, since this is um, this section right here is open, it can't actually cut this right here because there's nothing to cut. So just make sure that when you do that, that this section is closed right here. And now you have that in there too. So if I went from the other side over here, so if I create a sketch, And I draw a line here to here. Finish sketch. E for extrude. Thin extrude. Click this line. Pull this up. Set this to new body. Click OK. I turn the origin off. Come up here to modify and split body. This is the body to split. The splitting tool is to this. And click OK. If I turn this off, you can see that that piece is still inside of here now, like it should be. And then you just come up here to combine and combine this to this um, body here. And now you can make some really complex shapes inside here, like I said, um, like this. If you wanted to, you could actually um, do a design in here and um, make a former inside of it like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. And it's very simple to do. As you can see, that's not hard to do at all. Very simple. Okay, now we come over here to this Genesis plane here. And I'll show you how I did this. If 
me go ahead and close this. Um, save it first. Save it. Okay. Now, this wing here, turn this off. And this wing here should be solid. Let me um, inspect and make sure. Section analysis first. And it's hollow. Okay. Cancel that. And bring back the other wing. And turn this off. And take a look at this wing. Let me turn this tip off. I don't need it. Now this should be solid. Or it could be hollow. I don't know. We'll find out. Inspect. Section analysis. Check here. Okay, and it's solid. It's not hollow yet. Click OK. So now what I do with this wing here, I come up here to shell. This is what I want to shell. And I want it to be one millimeter. And click OK. Come up here to inspect. Section analysis. Here. And now we can see this is hollow. And what I'm showing you here with the wing, you do the same thing with the fuselage, how you do the um, inside here also. So now, what I'm going to do, turn the origin back on, create a sketch on this plane here. L for line. Now you can do this all at one time too. You could put more lines in there and do all at one, all at one time, but I'm gonna do it um, each one separate to show you guys how to do this. E for extrude, change this to thin extrude, click this line here. Like I said, the wall thickness is already set for me for one millimeter, and that's just how thick I want the walls inside to be. Pull this up, set this to new body, click OK. Come up here to split body. This is the body I want to split, and select this here as the splitting tool, and click OK. Now this here, scroll down, and then turn this off. And that, so we just have the... Okay, now come up here. Well, first let me look inside the wing. So inspect, section analysis. I'll look at this side here. Okay, no problem. You can see that um, section's not in here. That's not a problem. What I need to do is turn that on and turn this off. Now, Look at it again, inspect, side here, and now we can see it's there. And click OK. Not OK, OK. Now, I'm going to combine the two inside. So we come up here, combine. This is a target body. This is the tool body, and click OK. Now the one wing here.
come up here to inspect. Section analysis, this, pull this, and see that inside. And you can see those two are combined because when I turn off the wing, we have that um, in here. Show that again. And that's inside there. And we go ahead and click cancel here. And do another one. Sketch on this plane here, create sketch up here. L for line. Draw another line. One more line. Finish sketch. E for extrude, and I want to change this to thin extrude. Got this line, this line, and this line. I'm going to pull all these lines up. Set this to new body. And click OK. Come up here to modify, split body. And we want to split this body, this body, this body. And the splitting tool will be the wing itself. Now sometimes this doesn't, um, doesn't work properly. So let's see if it works uh, this time. And turn this body off, this body, and this body. Come up here to inspect, section analysis, click this here, and they should be inside like that. And we have those inside. Okay. Go ahead and cancel this. Now I'll come up here to combine. Target body. Is this and the tool bodies? This, this, oops, click OK. Make sure we got it. That's OK. Now we come up here to inspect and section analysis again. Click this, pull this in, and we see we have all our um, internal structure here now inside. Go ahead and click cancel. And what we can do here, just appearance. And change this to this. Close this. And let me change the color over here. Yeah. 
and close. All right. Now you can see inside of there as well. Let me change this on the outside too, so it's even more clear. I'm just right clicking here. Appearance. And close. We turn the sketches off. Turn the origin off. Okay. And that's our wing with structure inside of it. And it's just that simple to do. And you could put the um, um, other patterns in here too, going this way, this way, this way, to make these X's inside of here. Another way you could um, do this is once you hollow, make, um, shell this out, like one a millimeter, then when you printed this on your printer, just select um, um, zero infill, and that will make this hollow. But if you need infill inside of here, then select 5% or whatever percentage you need, and then you'll have um, a certain pattern, like um, if you select like, the cubic or lines, whatever, they will be inside of here. But you should um, do your own structure inside to um, make the wings light as possible. And um, yeah, so that's how we can do that. And um, let's say you want it to have um, the line in, um, in the fuse here, um, structure inside the fuse. Like I said, you do it the same way, and I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Let me turn the origin back on here. And I want to uh, sketch on this plane here. And so we're line from here, here. Click OK. Finish sketch. E for extrude. Let me turn the sketches back on to see that line. Make sure this is set to thin extrude. This is the line here. And I want this to be symmetric. I pull this out. And set this to new body and click OK. Oh, I'm looking at this. Okay. Now, what I want to do here is split body. So we'll come up here to modify, split body. This is the body of the split. This is the splitting tool. Click OK. Come back over to bodies, open this uh, folder up. And now I want to turn this off. And there's one inside here I want to turn off also. And we have a ring there. All right. Let me turn these sketches off. This origin, or leave the, I'll leave the origin on. And what I can do now is come up here to inspect section analysis using this plane here. Let me rotate this so I can select the plane. Now turn this around and pull this out. And as you can see, you can see these are, um, this is now inside of here.
So now you have a structure inside of here. Um, formers of whatever you want to call these. These are those in here. And that's how you do that. What I've decided to do is just go ahead and um, finish this Genesis um, glider out. Um, I'm going to put all the structure inside of it on the wings and everything else, and I'm going to go ahead and split it up. And then I'm probably just going to go ahead and 3D print it also. And um, once that um, is all done, like I said, if you want the files for this, just let me know and um, send me an email and um, I'll send you the files for this, um, for this glider. And if anybody wants to know how to model this glider in Fusion, let me know also. But um, if, you don't, if you don't want to model the glider itself, then just send me an email and I'll send you the files for it. But if you want to know how to model this, um, let me know and I will do a video on modeling this, um, this glider. I did an overview of how I did it um, an earlier video, but if, like I said, if those of you really want more detail, again, just leave it, uh, let me know in the comments and stuff, and um, I'll go ahead and do that also. But um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. And um, the next video that you may see of this glider, I may have um, the parts, a couple of parts printed out for this. So yeah, but anyway. That is a really simple way how to do internal structures and everything. And before, other ways I was um, doing them, it, it seemed rather complex, but I was thinking one night while I was um, falling asleep that uh, why can't I just use a thin extrude instead of drawing all those boxes and things, the thin extrude, and then adjust how thick I want the... Um, the thickness of that extrude to be, and one millimeter is ex exactly what I want it to be, so I didn't even have to change the size of it um, over on the thin extrude. It's all made, already set to one millimeter. So um, um, once I got that thought in my mind, then um, I just got up and went to the computer and gave it a try and um, came up with this method how to do it, and it's very simple. So. If you have any questions about this, um, go ahead and leave them down in the comments or um, join my Facebook group and send me a message over there or join my Patreon. And on my Patreon, I can help you a lot more on models and everything, um, helping you with modeling itself in CAD and the build of it and selecting parts, everything for it. So um, go over there and have a look on my Patreon site. The link to my Patreon and the link to my Facebook group will be down in the comments. So that's going to do it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that su subscribe button, and also like and comment, and we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.